بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Now we start doing these old exams questions. We'll finish this one. Now we'll come to this. I have what? Let me rewrite it. X cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x plus 4. Is it? Yeah. Over x cubed plus 4x dx. First, I note the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So I need the long division. And it will be a quick one. Over this. I divide x cubed by x cubed. I'll get 1. Multiply. I have x cubed. This is plus 4x. So this is plus minus. This is minus. So I have 2x squared plus x plus 4. So this expression will be what? 1 plus 2x squared plus x plus 4 over, I can take x common factor, I have x squared plus 4 dx. Before I continue, I will, this one I need partial fraction. So I'll do the partial fraction here. 2x squared plus x plus 4 over x over x squared plus 4. That will be a over x plus, and this is quadratic. I have bx plus c, irreducible quadratic over x squared plus 4. That give me what? I have a times x squared plus 4 plus x times bx plus c. This is over x, x squared plus 4, which is what? a x squared plus 4a plus bx squared plus cx over this. And that should equal this. Just I need to find a, b, c. Very clear. Coefficient of x squared. It's two from this side, and from the other side, it's a plus b. Coefficient of x. It's one. From this side, in the other side, it's C. Constant, it's 4 on this side and 4A from the other side. So I have A equal 1. If A equal 1, from here, B equal 1. So this one will be the integral of 1 plus A is 1 over X. B, X over X squared plus 4. And then C, 1 over X squared plus 4 dx. Well, these things will be x plus then absolute value of x. I need two and half. That will be half then x squared plus four, which is positive. Now it for the absolute value. Also here, this is two square. So you see here plus half tan inverse x over two plus c, which is this answer, which is correct. Okay. Now we'll do more um, questions from the, I mean, all the exams questions in this section for this section. Okay, the fraction which does not belong, does not belong, not, does not belong. I want it to be not in the partial fraction. Yeah, very clear is this one because this one is, I have a x plus b over x minus one, x plus one. It's not ready. I need this. This is not quadratic. Uh, this is reducible. So I can't I can't do more. So for sure this is not is not the one. But let me also uh, prove that the rest are, are there. Uh, this one will be four minus x. Now what how how to factor x to x to the power four minus one? That will be x squared minus one times x squared plus one. And that x minus that will be since the space x minus one x plus one x squared plus 1. So I have the denominator, so the factors are 4 minus x over x to the power 4 minus 1, all squared. Huh? If this is squared, so this is all squared, it means a square, a square, a square. That give me what? a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 1 squared. This is for the first one. c over x plus 1 plus d over x plus 1 squared. This one, I need ax plus f over x squared plus 1. 
and then is gx plus h over x squared plus one square. So this is there, yes, okay. This one is there, yes. This one is there, yes. This one is there, yes. This is the only thing for me. Okay, it's very clear. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not the partial fraction. The composition. Using the method partial fraction, you want a plus b plus c. So he want me to do the calculation here. That will be what a x square plus nine x plus x minus one. Let me do it in steps. That will be a times x squared plus nine plus x minus one times b x plus c. Over this. And that I can rewrite it as what? Ax squared plus 9a. Now I have bx squared. Okay. I have minus b plus c times x minus c over this. So I work out coefficient of x squared. It will be zero in this side. In the other side, it's what? A plus B. Coefficient of x. Zero in this, this side. In the other side, they have what? C minus B. The constant, it's 10 in this side. In the other side, it's 9A minus C. Okay. From here, now the, I have three equations, three unknowns. Try to solve it the way you like. I have C equal B. And from here, I have A equal minus B. So I plug it in this one. I get what? 10 equal A equal minus B. So this is minus 9B minus C minus B. So that means minus 10B equal 10. So B equal minus 1. If b is equal minus 1, c equal minus 1, and a will be minus minus 1, it's 1. Then a plus b plus c will be equal to minus 1, which is this. This one. Mm. This part of rough. If I let first, I need to let u be tan t. du will be secant squared t dt. So you have what? Tan by over four, this is one. Tan by over six, it's one over square root of three. I have what? Du over tan square, u square minus two u. Now it's partial fraction. This is u, u minus two. So I have integral. One, one over square root of three. A over u plus b over u minus two. I can use the cover method. So if I cover u, and I do, I substitute by zero and get minus half. That is minus half. If I cover u minus two, I substitute two. I'm getting half. So that will be minus one over two, ln of u plus half, ln absolute value u minus two. These things from one to one over square root of three. Now, if we substitute the one, I have ln one, zero. One minus two is minus one, and then the absolute value is one. Ln one is zero, gone. So I have just this, which is minus, minus half, ln one over square root of three, plus half, ln one over square root of three minus two, which is bigger, two is bigger than this. So I have the absolute value. That's that's good. So I have half ln one over square root of three. This one I need I need to reverse it minus half two minus one over square root of three. So I have ln minus ln. I can't take half common factor. I have ln the quotient one over square root of three over what is this two square root of three minus one. Let me give it more space. I have in the numerator one over. That will be the numerator. This will be the denominator, which is I can. This is a can simplify two square root of three minus one over square root of three. So it's two square root of three 
minus one over square root of three. This is cancelled. So I have half len one over two square root of three minus one, and that will be then of what? This I can rewrite it as two square root of three minus one to the power minus one. Don't forget the half. That give me what? Minus half then two square root of three minus one. Yeah, I think he kept the minus and the half he took it as a square root. Two square root of three minus one. So I'm getting this answer. Yeah, he wrote it in, in, in a specific way. The version, rocks and decomposition for rational function is this. Okay, this is linear. This is linear. This is quadratic. I cannot do it more. And this is also, this is quadratic. quadratic. Let us check. Um, this one I have b squared minus 4ac is 4 minus 8 negative. So for sure I cannot do. This one I can factor it actually. This is x plus 2 times x minus 1. Okay, so what I have in the denominator, I have x squared and I have x minus 1 squared, x plus 2, and this is, I cannot factor. So I have what? a over x plus b over x squared for this one, for the other one, c over x minus 1 plus d over x minus 1 squared, this one e over x plus 2, for this one, I have fh, fx plus h over this, because this is quadratic. So I have, this is my answer. Okay. Now we'll do the next one. Um, this one is very clear. I need to write x minus 9 over x plus 5 times x minus 2 as a partial fraction. I think Gerber method will do it. Cover this. Substitute minus 5. You will get what? Minus 14 over minus 7. Minus 5 minus 9 is minus 14. Minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7. Minus 14 over minus 7. That's, my, that's plus 2. Now cover this and substitute the two. I have two minus nine. This is minus seven over seven. That give me minus one. So I have two len. Oh, now I will be one. This is called it I. So I will be just the integral of this. Two len x plus five minus len x minus two, which is then x plus five squared minus then absolute value x minus 2 plus c and that will be then absolute value x plus 5 square over x minus 2 plus c which is this one quick one yeah this is he he decomposed it but he want to find a b c okay so i need to deal with this i have a over x plus b over x square plus c over x minus 1. And this is what? This is x squared x minus 1. So I have my common denominator, x squared x minus 1. Now we divide by, by x, I have a x x minus 1. We divide by x squared, I have b times x minus 1. And we divide by x minus 1, I have c x squared. Okay, now let me simplify it. That will be what? a x squared, minus ax plus bx minus b plus cx squared over this. Now what's the coefficient of x squared? And this side is 9. Here it's what? a plus c. What's the coefficient of x? And this side is 0. And the other one I have what? b minus a. This is done. So I have b minus a. The coefficient, it's one in this side and it's minus b in this side. I did a and c, I did everything. So b equal minus one. This is to start with. Plug it here. 
So A will be what? Uh, B is minus one. So A is also minus one. Uh, minus one, minus, minus one. That's going to be zero. Now plug it here. I have nine equal minus one plus C. So C equal 10. So A plus B plus C minus one, minus one plus 10. And that will be eight, which is this. Secant theta, tan theta over secant minus secant square. Is this is partial fraction? Yes. Let u equal secant theta. Du will be what? Secant tan theta d theta. So you have what? Du over u minus u square, which is any partial fraction. This is u one minus u. Okay. So integral. A over U plus B over one minus U. That will get the U. Confirmated will do it. Cover the U. Cover the, yeah, I have and substitute zero. This is A is one. Cover this one and substitute one. I have one. You can check it actually. One minus U plus U, it's one. This is what I want. So that will be then absolute value of U. What is this? Yeah, uh, this is will be, be careful here. Yeah, let me take it here. One over one minus u du. Yeah, this is, if this is u, I need minus and minus outside of du. So it's minus, then one minus u. So it's minus, then one minus u plus c. So that will be then u, over one minus u plus c. And what is my u is secant theta. So it will be secant theta. One minus secant theta plus c. That will be the answer. Okay. Dx over x, square root of x minus one. Hmm. Okay. This is partial fraction. Let me see. If I let u to be square root of x minus one. Du will be what? Will be 1 over 2 root x. I don't have root x, but I can do this. 4 over 9 dx. I can write x as root x, root x. Not only that, with 2 and make half outside. And I have a square root of x minus 1. So this is only my du if I use this. This is dx. Okay, so let me do that. I have half. Four, two, one. Three minus one, two. I have du over what? U, not u. Yeah, if this is, the screw root of x will be what? U plus one. So I have u plus one times u. But I need now partial fraction to do this. Okay. So I have what? This is half, one to two. I need to make this A over U plus B over U plus one, DU. Cover me to do it. This is zero, I have one. Cover this minus one, and I have minus one. Can't check it, U plus one minus two, I'm getting one. Okay, so this is half, of what? Then absolute value of u minus then u plus one from where to where? From one to two. So it will be half. Is it? No, this is two, should be sorry. I put two here, so that will be two. Yeah, that is two. That is two. This is two. This is two. And then it will do the calculation. This is lin two minus lin three minus when I substitute the one, this is zero, and I have minus lin two. That give me what? Lin two plus lin two. So it's two. Lin two. This is minus minus, so it's plus lin two. So you have two lin two minus lin three which is two, then four, minus then three. 
that will be ln 2 ln 4 over 3. This 2 will go as a power, so you have ln 16 over 9, which is this answer. Using the method, I want a 2a plus 3b, I want a, b, c. Okay, so this one will be, yeah, I think the Kaffer method will do it. Kaffer this, substitute the 1. You have what? 1 over what? If I cover this one, huh? I have 1. In case x equal 1, I have 1. 1 over minus 1 over 2. That will be minus half. So a is minus half. I want to be like by 2. That's good. B. I'll cover this one now. Substitute by 2. X equal 2. So I have 2 over 1 times 3. So that will be 2 over 3. So 3B three, three is good. Now for this, the last one. I substitute X equal minus 1. I cover this. I have what? Minus 1 over. This is minus 2. This is minus 3. So it's minus 1 over 6. So 2A plus 3B minus 6C will be what? Minus 1 plus 2 plus 1. That give me 2. Put it. I want to solve this. Okay. So it's x squared plus x minus x. Yeah. Minus x plus 6 over. I took x cone factor. I have x squared plus 3. The x. So I need the partial fraction to be a over x plus b x plus c over x squared plus 3. The x. So let me do this partial fraction a over x plus bx plus c over x squared plus 3. That give me what? x times x squared plus 3. I have ax squared. Now let me do it in steps. a x squared plus 3 plus x ax plus c. That give me what? ax squared plus 3a plus bx squared plus cx over this. And that should be x squared minus x plus 6 over this. So coefficient of x squared will be a plus b is equal to 1. Coefficient of x, this is gone. That will be c, which is the minus 1. Constant, 3a, that's equal 6, so a equal 2. If a equal 2, then b equal minus 1. So I have everything now. a is 2, b is minus 1, and c is minus 1, 2. Okay, so the integral, this is called it i. So i will be what? Will be 2, ln absolute value of x. Oh, let me do it in steps. Yeah. So I have i integral 2 over x minus x over x squared plus 3 minus 1 over x squared plus 3 dx. So that will be 2 in absolute value of x. Here I have 2 and half outside. So it's minus half then x squared plus 3. Here I have the same. Do I need half? No, this is tan inverse, but this is square root of 3 all square. So my a is square root of 3. So that will be minus 1 over square root of 3. Tan inverse x over square root of 3. Since a is square root of 3. And this is my answer. Okay. This one. Can I factor this one? Yes. That will be 2x. x. I need one negative, so minus one plus one. That will be the factoring. Then I do a over this plus b over this. 
dx. Yeah, cover method will do it. I cover this, so but I put x equal minus half. Minus half, I have what? Let me do the calculation. Minus 5 over 2 plus 1 over minus 1, minus half minus 1. That will be what? 2 over 2, that's minus 3 over 2, minus 3 over 2, that will be 1. Now I cover this, put 1, so I have 6 over 3, that will be 2. You can check, that will be x minus, that will be 2, and that will be 2. Let me check. Now, with x equal 1, I have what? 6 over 3, that is 2. So is that correct? And yes, yes, it's correct. Why, why is that correct? That will be x minus 1 plus 4x plus 2, which is 5x plus 1, which is correct. So my calculation is correct. Now I do the integration. That will be yeah, how to integrate this. An integration of this. Let me do it in steps. This one is easy. Then absolute value x minus 1. Let's see. This one, I need, this is u, I need times 2 and half outside. So it's half, now it's u du, then 2x plus 1, minus 2, then x minus 1 plus c. Which is this? Okay. I need the factorization. This is can be factored, yes. It's x minus 2 times x minus 3. This one can be factored, yes. x, x squared plus 4. This is a cannot factor. So I have 3x squared plus 1 over. I have x minus 2 squared. And x minus 3. And x, and x squared plus 4. So my decomposition will be a over x minus 2 plus b over x minus 2 squared, get rid of this, plus c over x minus 3, this, I have x, plus 3 over x, get rid, then I have ax plus f over x squared plus 4. Watch is this. I screw it 1 plus x over x. Hmm. I will let you we screw root 1 plus x. So u square is 1 plus x. Let's see what will happen. So I have 2u du equal dx. Plug everything here now. So I have u dx is 2u du. And x will be what? It will be 1 minus u square. Okay. So that's 2u square over 1 minus u square du. You know what? I can't do this trick. This one make it by 1 minus this side. I have u square over u square minus 1 du. So I have minus 2. This one u squared minus 1 plus 1 over u squared minus 1. Okay. And the integral. Is it? Now 2u squared. I took 2 outside. Or I can use long division. I can take 2. Also I take a minus. Yeah, so it's minus 2 times this. So I have uh, minus 1 plus 1 over u squared minus 1 du. Yeah, minus, uh, minus 2u. I have 2 plus. There is something wrong u equal to square root 1 plus x, u squared is 1 plus x, 2u du equal dx, square root 1 plus x is u, times du, x is u squared minus 1, sorry for that. Let's see that. No need to run this.
what a mistake. From here, x is u squared minus one. I took one to the other side. So this is, is not one minus u squared. This is u squared minus one. U squared minus one. So I took the two out. I have u squared squared minus one. So add minus one, subtract it. So I have two integral of one plus one plus one du. And that is what two one plus I can't rewrite this a over u minus one plus b over u plus one. And that is Plus one. Let's see. So it will be what? Two U plus Len U minus one minus Len U plus one plus C. So I have two U plus Len. I can combine it in one. U minus one over U plus one plus C. Now I put U, which is for root one plus X. Plus then I have what square root one plus x minus one square root one plus x plus one plus c which is this not difficult a little bit lengthy now just factor this into this so I have a over x plus b x plus c over x squared plus one I have what a x squared plus a let me do it quickly. Plus bx squared plus cx over this. So I have a plus b coefficient of x squared is equal to 5. Coefficient of x, I have c equal to minus 1. I have a equal to 3. If a equal to 3, then b equal to 2. So it will be a plus b plus c will be 5 minus 1, which is 4. That's it. Okay, now easy one. I need 1 over u, 1 plus u. That will be a over u plus b over 1 plus u. Cover method, this is 0, so I have 1. 1 plus u, I cover substitute minus 1, that is minus 1. So this one will be integral from 1 to 2, 1 over u minus 1 over 1 plus u du. That will be len absolute value of u minus len absolute value 1 plus u, that from 1 to 2. Substitute, that will be len 2 minus len 3. Okay minus this is then one which is zero minus lin two so i have two lin two minus lin three in other words lin four minus lin three that will be then four over three which is this cosine over sine yeah cosine over sine times two minus cosine square x the x. What's the trick? I can convert this into into sine. So I have everything there's a sine denominator. I let u equal sine, and I have in the denominator in the numerator du. That's it. That's that's the trick. So this is a big cosine x dx over. I have sine x. I know cosine square. Let me do it quickly. 1 minus sine square. So I have minus 1, minus, minus, that will be 1 plus sine square. 
okay? Yeah, two minus one minus sine, that will be one plus sine squared. Okay, now I let u to be sine x, du will be of sine x dx. So what I have, du over u, one plus u squared. I need partial fraction from this. So let me do it here, let's do it alone here. I have a over u plus bx plus c over bu. Since I'm working with u, u squared plus one, du. Now we need to find a and b, I'll do it here. I have a over u plus bu plus c over u squared plus one. That is a u square plus a plus b u square plus c u over u u square plus one. And that should equal one over u square, one over u times one plus u square. So coefficient of, a, of u square, a plus b should be zero. Coefficient of u, which is c, should be zero. The constant, which is a, should be one. So b equal minus one. So this one is, a is one. Okay, I have one over u. And b is minus one, that is minus u. c is zero, so minus u over u squared plus one. du. That will be, I, have, I need two and a half. So I have u over, d over u. So you have then absolute value of u minus half, then u squared plus one plus c. I don't need the absolute value since it's always positive. So you have then what is u? u is sine, it will be then absolute value of sine x minus half, then sine squared x plus one plus c. And that will be my answer. To x plus one over x minus one over x square minus one. This is a can factor it, but it is x minus one, x plus one. So I have two x plus three over x minus one squared times x plus one. And that will be a over x minus one, b over x minus one plus square, c over x plus one. I'll do the partial fraction. This one is what? I have x minus one squared times x plus one. Let me do it carefully. Actually, I can find b and c using the cover method, but let me do it in general. It's okay, I think it's an easy one. This seems to me. Okay. So I have what? I divide by this. I have x, I have a, x minus one, x plus one, which is x squared minus one. That will make it easy. B, I need to multiply by x plus 1. C, I need to multiply by x squared minus 2x plus 1, which is x minus 1 over squared. So I have what? A, x squared. This is x squared minus 1. So I have A, x squared minus A, plus B, x plus B, plus C, x squared, minus 2 C, x plus C, over this. So now I have coefficient of x squared, which is a plus c, that is zero. Coefficient of x, which is two in this case, this is gone. I have what, b plus, b minus two c, that is two. Constant, I'm, this is gone. I have minus a plus b plus c is equal to three. I don't know, I, I, you know, I can't write everything in terms of C. So I have A equal minus C. Here I have B equal 2 plus 2 C. I plug them here. So I have C minus A, which is C. B is plus 2 plus 2 C plus C equal 3. Is it? Yeah, 
I'm getting what. Minus A is C. V is 2 plus 2 C. So I have 2 plus 2 C. And this is plus C equal 3. Yeah, I have 4 C. So 4 C. I take to the other side equal 1. So C equal 1 over 4. That would be C. Okay, good. Now, what I need? A will be minus 1 over 4. And B will be what? 2 plus half. Okay, 2 plus 1 over 2 over, yeah, plus half is 5 over 2. Okay, good. So A is what? Minus 1 over 4. B is 5 over 2. This is 1 over 4. So what will be I? Minus 1 over 4. Then absolute value X minus 1. And this is minus 5 over 2. 1 over X minus 1. This is x minus one all square, like u square, one over u square. What's the what's the integral? Minus one over u. And the last one, plus one over four, then x plus one plus c. I can combine this with this since I have the that will be then absolute value x plus one minus then x minus one, which will be then then the difference. Okay, Linda quotient, minus 5 over 2, 1 over x minus 1, plus c. So I have 1 over 4, then this over this, minus 5 over 2, over 1 over x minus 1, plus c. This 1 over 4 I can take it as a power, like what he did here, and that would be my answer. Okay. See how far am I? Okay. Let me try to do more. I have here x as a common factor. The main x squared minus x plus three, which is x times x. Can I factor this? Uh, let me check. B squared minus four ac. That will be 4 minus 12 negative. I cannot factor it. So it means I need to do it this way. So let me check this. What is it? A over X plus PX plus C over this expression. That equal to what? AX squared minus 2AX plus 3A plus BX squared plus CX over this. So I have now the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. I want this to be equal to x squared plus 2x minus 12 over x, x squared minus 2x plus 3. OK, so I have here a plus b, and that should be equal to 1. That's the coefficient of x. I did this. I have minus 2a plus c. And that should be equal to 2, the constant. I'm done with this. I have 3a equal 12. So a equal, a equal 4. Plug it here. So you have b equal minus 3. Yeah, b equal 1 minus 4, which is minus 3. Plug it here also. I have 8 plus c equal 2. So C equal minus six. So what is A? Oh no, not A, three A. Yeah, strange number. Three A plus two B plus C. That will be 12. Minus six, minus six. Okay, that's wrong. Yeah, A over X. AX squared minus 2AX plus 3A plus BX squared plus CX. Everything is okay. I have A plus B. Coefficient is equal to 1. A plus B is equal to 1. 
Okay. Coefficient of x is what? I have in a, a, a minus 2a plus c, which is equal to 2. And the last one, this is minus 12. Yeah. This is minus 12. Oh, what a mistake. That would be minus 3. Minus 4. Look. Yeah, be careful with the calculation. This is minus 4. This is minus 4. This is minus 4 plus B. So B will be 5. Is it? Yeah, let me check. Minus 4 plus B. Take minus 4 to the other side. B equal 5. I have 8 plus C equal to so c equal minus 6. So you have 3a, that will be minus 12, plus 10, minus 6, minus 18, plus 10, that will be minus 8. Be careful with the calculation. Same thing. Let me do it. I have what? a over x minus 1 plus bx plus c over x squared plus 1. That will be a x squared plus 1, let me do it in steps, x minus 1, bx plus c, over this. <laughs> that gave me ax squared plus a, plus bx squared, minus bx, plus cx, minus c, over this. And that should equal x squared plus 2x minus 1 over this. OK, so what's the coefficient of x squared? Be careful. a plus b. That should be equal to 1. What's the coefficient of x? Minus b plus c. That should be equal to 2. I'm done with this and this. And the constant, a minus c, that's equal to minus minus. Yeah, one idea, I can write everything in terms of B. So A is 1 minus B, and C is 2 plus B. Plug this here. So I have 1 minus B minus 2 minus B equal to minus 1. So I have what? Minus 2B, 1 minus 2. That is minus one, take it to the other side. That will be zero. So B equals zero. That means C equal two. And A equal one. Yeah, A equal one from here. So I need two A plus B plus C. That will be two. C is two plus zero plus two. That will be four, which is this one. Yeah, let me stop here now. Let me stop uh, the recording. I think I have, I don't like to have long videos. I think I have enough number of questions. Thank you.